And I would characterize myself as a wife, a mom, um, you know, a CEO of my own company, a uh, retired Air Force Colonel. Notice I put that last almost because I feel like I dropped the pack in 2018 when I retired. It was a big part of my identity until yeah. then. It, it kind of started in about 2010. I was at US Central Command. It's, it's a combatant command, so all the services send their military forces, so it's joint to the combatant command. They're the war fighting element. At the time, General Mad Dog Mattis, he became our Secretary of Defense. And because I was the airman, right? You're, oh, you're in the Air Force, so you do drones. Like, yeah. they just kind of threw me into it. But it, like, we all had to do everything. I also was doing detainee operations, which is really, generally speaking, a ground forces army mission. Mm -hmm. That was my primary responsibility. That's when I first really got exposed to drones. I definitely saw how they were used. In warfare, I can't really talk about it because, you know, I'd have to kill yep. all of you. <laughs> I'm in charge of training uh, the forces for the large UAS, mm -hmm. the large drones, Group 4, Group 5, Predators, Reapers. Yeah. Um, I was chief the of operations ones. law, the big ones, yeah. um, that we were using, of course, at CENTCOM, right? And if you, you know, that time in the U.S., it was like 2012, 2013, we thought Iraq was winding down. You know, so a lot of these aircraft that were deployed overseas for like 10 plus years, yeah. right? They were physically coming back to the United States and the pilots, even though many of them were here, mm -hmm. right, at Creech Air Force Base and some other locations, they've been so used to flying combat missions overseas yeah. that there was a big concern like, well, okay, now they're gonna be back in the US. How do the domestic airspace rules apply? And you would think this would be like pretty obvious and straightened out. Yeah. I think at the highest level, the policymakers knew what those rules were. But the people actually that were flying the drones did not necessarily know what they were because what was happening was we'd see all these news articles. Uh, you know, lost hiker in the woods, yeah. a local commander flies Reaper to find them. Okay, well that's a big deal because they're an IS, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance yeah, platform. IFR tons of money to fly those things um, and it's what we call in the United, it's what we call defense support of civil authorities or DISCA because um, it, this dates back to the Civil War there's a statute on our books called the Posse Comitatus Act that says the military cannot be used to enforce the laws and so it's a really big deal when you use military forces or equipment um, to support local police wow. or local sheriffs or local law enforcement.